everybody, Crafty Andy here, and this is Crafty Arts, where I art. And today we're going to be drawing the scumfuck Muhammad. Yes, oh yes, Muhammad. This is not the episode I intended to premiere with, but considering that 12 people died drawing Muhammad, it really drove me to do it myself. Because in the end, no one should have to fucking die over fucking cartoons. 12 people died. Hey, and guess what? Back in 2005, over 200 people died over some drawings of Muhammad. So, Muhammad, the most powerful guy there is other than Allah, you know, who's part of the creation of the universe and God's word and all that bullshit, he is so powerful that he needs a bunch of goons with guns to defend him whenever someone mocks him. Yes. That sounds like a very powerful deity to me. So I have to ask this, you know, as I get my sketch together here, get my ideas down. How much mockery is it going to take before Muhammad himself materializes before me and strikes me down for my drawing? How long is it going to take? How much mockery is it going to take? In fact, I encourage all of you to draw Muhammad with me. Do your own drawings of Muhammad. Doesn't matter what your art skill level is. Doesn't matter if you can just make stick figures. Just go on and draw Muhammad. And so as I get my sketch together here, you can see it's starting to come to life a little more. Probably going to have to censor some of this out because, hey, this is YouTube. It's not my website. Gotta follow their rules. I'm going to describe it to you here. See, Muhammad, back in his time, he didn't have a lot of dogs or cats roaming around. He only had camels and Muhammad loved to please the camels. So here he is sucking a camel's dick. And unfortunately for him, this camel has genital warts. And that's exactly how Muhammad died. You see, this camel was a slut. Muhammad caught the disease from the camel. And later on, he died choking on his own blood and vomit. True story, true story. And as I'm fleshing this out a little more, get my light source together and everything. Let's take a look at some other Muhammad drawings that people have done. All right, so we're going to get into some other Muhammad drawings that people have done. Let's dive right into it, shall we? So here we have a nice piece done in colored pencil here. And, well, speaking of pencils, uh-oh, looks like some of them found its way up Muhammad's butthole. So the thing is, is that this is really accurate because back then, the Middle East was really advanced. And they even invented the pencil. Not many people know this. What ended up happening was that Muhammad found a taste for pencils that were quite sexual. And being that the Quran is very against any kind of sexual acts, especially when it comes to the anus, Muhammad ended up banning all pencils, including all intelligence from the Middle East. And as you can see here, his people were in an outrage, as depicted there. Oh no, wise, immortal Muhammad, I fear that freedom of expression will harm you. How dare you mock our most holy pedophile. And so, seeing that the pencils were mocking him, or at least they, they thought they were, they burned all pencils and destroyed all knowledge at all of the pencil. Until hundreds of years later when it was discovered yet again. Ah uh, yes, here we have a nice piece that is done in a style of One Piece, the, the manga. And this does a accurate portrayal of just how endowed Muhammad really was back in his day. In fact, this is why he went after little girls, because they were the only ones that could feel the penetration of his penis, because they were so small compared to a full-grown woman who would wonder if an acorn got stuck in her vagina. So let's see, um, let's see what we have next here. Oh yes, there was a time that not many people know about where Ganon from The Legend of Zelda found his way into our reality and then took advantage of the Prophet Muhammad. Welcome, my future bride! <laughs> As you can see here, he was making his declarative statement. Oh yeah, I'm Porkin Muhammad! Fortunately for Muhammad, Link did come through, kick his ass back into his reality. That's why Muhammad and his people hate pork so much. 
Uh, here we have a recreation of the symbol that they would put on huts and other, other areas where a donkey show would be taking place. And that was always a treat for the locals, is when Muhammad got there, he would grab that donkey, just, just like that. And that became very popular among the locals. And here we have the masterpiece. Yo, dog. I heard that you hate people drawing your prophet, so I drew a picture of your prophet drawing your prophet from an image of your prophet, so you can hate me hating your hate while you hate. Mwah. I don't know who made this one, but my god, you are a goddamn Jesus. I have to give courtesy to the Drunken Peasants channel because they started their own Draw Muhammad contest, which led to a lot of these images right here. Well, that was a lot of waste of time. Anyways, getting back to the Muhammad drawing here. See, now I'm going to incorporate this in the computer because now I can do my line work. I can make some corrections. You know, I figured not many people are going to recognize this dick as a camel's dick, so I'm going to put a little camel head there. And this is sort of a fantasy drawing in a way because the camel's going to be talking. Though back in Bible times and the ground times, or whatever the fuck it is, animals did talk occasionally. So perhaps that's a true story too. You know, only the best for Muhammad. Okay. I don't know if you knew this, but Muhammad loved them young. He loved to be a baby diddler. When he wasn't fucking boys in the ass, he was diddling little girls. So I gotta include a lowly anime style girl in the background here, just throwing herself at Muhammad. Well, and of course she has a TNT strap around her chest because she's ready to die for this prophet. This prophet who some commented they love more than their mothers and fathers. and. Woe is me if only people could just understand that. And just in case some people have trouble recognizing him, I gotta include his name on his hat. Because let's face it, there's not many pictures of Muhammad. In fact, there's no pictures of Muhammad. In fact, according to these people, it's forbidden to draw him. As if he's fucking sacred or something. So now it's time to add the color. And I love using Photoshop for color because I can make all sorts of adjustments here and there. Doesn't really matter, just have fun with it. If you're drawing your Muhammad drawing at home, doesn't matter how you color it, you can use fucking crayons for all I care. And I also want to emphasize on his lips a little more. I, I put some more detail on there because Muhammad loved to put on makeup and lipstick. And I'm just gonna assume that they had this back in the Middle East at the times before he took over because, you know, back then the Middle East was for a while the center of intelligence and progress until Muslim extremists and fundamentalists took over. And so here I am putting the finishing touches on my drawing. Gotta sign it, of course, and put my logo at the bottom. And voila, there you have it. There's my finished drawing of Muhammad. I think the full title of this should be called Muhammad sucks a camel's dick that has genital warts while bombs of irony fall from the sky and a lowly anime girl throws herself to the wind. Or a shorter title, I guess, would be Muhammad Prophets. So let me know what you think of this. Do you like it? Do you think it could be better in some ways? Do you have your own drawings you'd like to share with me and have me critique, whether it's Muhammad or other things? Be sure to send it to me. I'd be grateful. Just grateful. Until then, share this with all your friends. Like it. Subscribe to it. Expect more. Till then. Au revoir. When he wasn't fucking boys in the ass, he was diddling little girls.